Hello there, you're once more welcome to the Glory Ram Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God has something beautiful for you. We are the Word of God. You see, each time we open the Bible to look at the Word of God, no, don't turn this off, don't get tuned off. Each time we open the Bible to look at the Word of God, something unusual begins to happen. Now, I want you to hang in there and watch what we have for you today. Yesterday, we were looking at the book of Colossians chapter number four. We went a little bit back to verse number four and then on to verse number five and six. Now, take note of this. In verse number six, Paul was telling the believers to be careful, from five actually, telling the believers to be careful when they have to deal with somebody who is not saved. Now, in, in verse number six, he wanted every one of us to make the most of the opportunity by speaking words that are seasoned with salt. What does that mean? Let what you say be so gracious that somebody can swallow it. They hear it and they can take it in. We shouldn't speak in such a rash manner that put people off. Sometimes some people go to present the gospel and they just get out so blunt and so rash and then it makes the gospel look like swallowing vinegar. You need to come in such a way that your words are seasoned with salt, all right? And then he tell, I mean, he went on to tell us that, you know, that could make a lot of difference. You wouldn't lose. You will, at the end of the day, be a blessing to that person. And now take note of this. We are not just trying to win people to Christ. We are trying to be a blessing to them, and we are trying to make them realize that God has something wonderful for them. In verse number seven, he began to address those who he was writing the letter to, and also talking about his companions. Now remember, he was in prison, right? So he said, Tishikos will give you full information about my affairs. He is a much loved brother and faithful ministering assistant and fellow servant with us in the Lord. Now, Tishikos was introduced here. Now, this calls my attention to a number of things. Even in the church today, there are very few persons that can be recommended the way Paul recommended Tishikos. Right, let's look at what he said about teaching God. He says, he will give you full information about my affairs. In other words, teaching God is well acquainted with what is happening with Paul. We have so many people hanging around leaders who have no understanding, who care less, who don't trouble themselves, who will not go an extra mile to see to it that everything is well with the person they're working with? The average human being is selfish, and so they are looking out for their selfish benefit. But he said about Tishikos, this man will tell you everything about my affairs. He is a much loved brother. Look at that. He is a much loved brother. In other words, meeting Tishikos will spark some light into your life. Paul never had problem with Tishikos. There are people whose spiritual leaders have to, I mean, keep praying. I mean, you know that kind of keep praying I'm talking about? is the kind of prayer that had to do with the fact that this person is a concern. This person is not a blessing, but like an, an added burden, right? So he says, he is a much loved brother and faithful ministering assistant and fellow servant with us in the Lord. He is a ministering assistant who is faithful. Faithfulness is an, another serious ingredient or quality that is missing amongst people who call themselves Christians. All right? He is a faithful ministering assistant and fellow servant with us in the Lord, Paul said. So just the way Paul 
would passionately labor concerning the gospel. T. Shikas is doing the same thing. He wasn't there for justice gain, he wasn't there for personal gain. He was so glad to be part of those sharing the gospel. Now, it's unfortunate that that seemed to be missing. He is a faithful servant. Are you faithful? This man was a wonderful assistant. Do your leader consider you as an assistant? You know, some people will not get involved until they are paid for it. And you know the funny thing, even when some people are paid for it, their heart is not in it. It says here, this man is a faithful ministering assistant and fellow servant with us in the Lord. So he wasn't bossy, he wasn't arrogant or proud, he was truly serving. A ministering means to serve. Many people who claim to be in ministry today are far from servants. We are servants of the Lord, but you see, except Jesus reigns in your heart, you cannot serve as servant of the Lord, except Jesus has transformed your life. We need to make him the Lord and Savior of our lives. Talking with people again and again, I have found out that there are so many persons in church who don't know who the Lord is. They don't have an encounter with him. Going to church does not make you a Christian. Ask the Lord to forgive you your sin. Receive what he did for you, shedding his blood on the cross of Calvary as your atonement, the atonement for your sin and proclaim him Lord and Savior of your life and your life will never be the same again. Till I come your way again by the grace of God, I'm Ego Luis Yegwe Guru. God bless you. Thank you.